If you watch many of the videos on whodoeswhat.tv, a lot of them represent embassy gatherings with their national days. It just works out that way because, well, embassies like whodoeswhat.tv and it's non-commercial, plus indicative of the activities. For sure, the diplomats and officials never get tired of seeing themselves and getting their agenda, for lack of a better word, out there. One embassy, though, is a little less out there as such, but deceptively, next to the Saudi National Day get-together, it's one of the biggest gatherings that Bahrain sees. It's the Palestinian celebrations and commiserations at the same time. This year was no exception, and some very current, in the news if you like, names turned up. President Mahmoud Abbas's son, for a start. Today uh, marks the 29th anniversary of the declaration of our late President Yasser Arafat and the 15th of uh, November 1988 in Algeria in the, in the National Con Congress and that this becomes the 29th anniversary of our uh, declaration that is we are marking today. In addition to that, we are marking also the 13th anniversary of the loss of our late president, uh, President uh, Yasser Arafat. So. We are really happy and, uh, and uh, uh, pleased to be here today to mark those two, the happy one and the, and, and the sad one at the same time, but, but we, we are all on this road and uh, we are grateful actually to the Kingdom of Bahrain to, to always set, um, host these kind of, uh, of events and we have the high level representation here today uh, where we really um, appreciate this move from the uh, the kingdom of, of Bahrain and I'm really pleased to be uh, to be here supporting uh, my friend the ambassador and the Palestinian community uh, on this uh, event. نتقدم بالشكر الجزيل إلى أصحاب المعالي والسعادة والفضيلة وكل الحضور الكريم الشكر لكافة الإعلاميين والصحفيين ونخص بالذكر تلفزيون البحرين الشكر للفلقة الموسيقية العسكرية التابعة لوزارة الداخلية البحرينية التحية كل التحية للجاليات الفلسطينية الحبيبة ونقول لأهلنا وأحبتنا في الجالية with so many people and a lot of background noise, Ambassador Qadir maintained great dignity and delivered his speech, which basically thanked everyone for attending and mentioning a few salient points, which went down very well. You've no doubt seen in the news recently, and we're talking now November 2017, that Hamas and Fatah movements have reconciled differences. And plastered all over news networks worldwide, we saw this man signing the Memorandum of Understanding to bring the two back together after years at loggerheads. He is Azam al Ahmed, former minister and now the man with the pen. After a somewhat fiery speech from Wazir Ahmed, it was time to cut the lovely cake, as they so often do at these functions. The huge gathering formed long queues at a very substantial buffet out around the pool area. All in all, good food and an excellent friendly night. This is Geg Hopkins for Who Does What TV.